Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more Elden Ring. Uh, I think tonight it's time to try to be a hero. Now we've got some nice new gauntlets. And uh, I would like to venture to this area over here. And because some nasty creatures tend to come out at night, I should probably wait till morning as well, just to avoid getting into too much trouble. going to go and explore the swamp a little, which means I should probably change equipment about a bit and see what I have that might give me slightly better. It's going to be all this stuff, isn't it? Better, um, it's immunity for poison, isn't it? But then I do need robustness. I mean, I suppose my resistances aren't that bad. Maybe I'll just leave it as is and go in with what I'm used to. That way I can adjust and adapt. Hmm. That is a long shadow reaching out onto the rocks over there. <laughs> Who would have known such a small man would cast such a great shadow? Perhaps it is the shadow waiting to be filled with the potential of many levels yet to come and ability score increases. I really do need to increase stamina, which is odd because I did say I wanted to try for a stamina heavy build. Also, maybe I'll finally get to find out what all that late night shouting around this area has been to do with. Oh, hello, you. you're going to come fight me soon, aren't you? Right, man, you're going to come down and get smacked or what? Because you're a bit high up there now. There we go. Lovely. I see you. I need to get around behind you. Hmm. I still don't know what to call those things. They're kind of like venom pods or something. I bet you there's some ridiculous name from the wiki, like retrievers or something stupid, but hey, that's for wiki readers. Right, let's. Stay near the edge as I'm exploring. This tree trunk I can summon here. Okay. Actually. That group of people over there look like the kind of situation where I might actually want to summon the mob. This seems so dumb, it might be worth actually attempting. But I'm supposed to be looking for some kind of cave entrance around here, if what I was told is worth knowing. Uh-oh. Yep, I see you, Wings. I have peripheral vision, damn it. There we go, that's much better. Oh, bugger! You absolute... Well, I timed that wrong. Huh, so much for being a hero, huh? Can I just go back and fight the nasty bastard instead? What the hell is this? 
I haven't been here before and that bugger is right there. Yeah, let's hide. Okay, I heard there was a dragon on an island in the middle of the lake. I didn't realise he was going to come out and absolutely murder me. So, I do not go near that bunch of shouting meanies. Who appear to be worshipping. Question is, would I be able to reach the cave? Look, it's only about 218 ruins, right? It's something I can easily afford to lose at this level. That is something I am not ready to face yet at all. His tail appears to be pixelated and like phasing in and out a bit as if it's not quite real. Oh. Yeah, go home please, dragon. Don't mind me. Because if I can't deal with the git from Margate, then I am not ready to deal with this thing. giant crab as well. Oh great, I'm not ready for that either. Look, I think I should just... Yeah. Not good. I don't think I can get into that cave today. But I don't just want to keep killing those guys at the ruins, because that's not going to help me progress very much. Maybe I should practice fighting the riders again. Or I could do something I've been considering for a little while now. Which is going back to Margate's tunnel. Well, Margate's tunnel. And mate, are you going to just turn around and go away or are you just stuck there now waiting to spoil my day? I think it's going to spoil my day. Right, okay, well look, here's what I'm going to do. I'll have this sunflower. I was going to experiment with a summon I haven't used for ages as well. Horrible monster. Right. Ooh. Well, I'm not going in there today. But I do know I can walk around the bridge. So yeah, going back to Margaret's tunnel and... Walking back out of it and tackling the guards outside in reverse order, right? Because they are optimized for a frontal assault. And I may be able to get a significant amount of runes back. Let's try that now. I would say they'll never see this coming, but they might see this coming. Hmm. That swamp is significantly off limits until I'm kind of dragon ready. At least for now. So. I would say the Ballista crew member is top priority. But the two soldiers in front of him are higher priority. That being said, he's going to act up and get their attention if I don't. What? Okay, let's do this. I mean, we really want to 
work out where the Hornblower is. But that will not be easy, because he's going to be on patrol. There he is. And it's the Erdleaf I thought it was. Right. I come down here, because I see this one here, right? He's not moving very much. But he's also not the Hornblower. This could all go very horribly wrong, and in fact probably will. If not for me, for them. Hopefully for them. Right. I mean, I could theoretically handle these two without any of the others finding out. Oh shit, there's a third one. Right, okay. New plan, new plan, new plan is kill you. Really hard. And then you, mate. Bad news, right. Okay. So the other lot are all hiding over there. Um tempted to try and drink. Look, mate. No offence, but you're right there. And I am blowing these backstabs. Hello. You're the horn blower. Right. I mean you. Definitely need to increase that stamina. Also, I appear to have that down arrow icon again. Uh, I have been informed by the comment section that it is a 5% hit point debuff. Which is... I don't know how to get rid of it. I have been told I have an item that can get rid of it. Let's have a look. Alderkin's Blessing, I'll absolutely be using that at some point. But, until then, it's not going to be Memory of Grace or Spectral Steed Whistle. Gold Pick and Found Foot. I should probably... It does look like a grabbing hand, doesn't it? Okay, it's not me then. Uh, again, all obsessed with the horse. If I was given an item, as opposed to finding an item. Not this. Um, right. I'm not seeing something I was given that's going to particularly... Oh, crackpot, I can start making one of the stacks of stuff. Hmm. Um... Uh, I was also asked what... Ashes of War I have. I have Wild Strikes, which I'm looking to maybe use at some point soon. Repeating Thrust, Storm, Stomp, and Determination. Determination looked pretty, but I don't know it's going to work. Most of these seem to downgrade the weapon significantly. I should probably equip that at some point with all these bolts I have. But you know what? aren't different but on the same line interesting right yeah let's let's do that so this has no look I mean heavy load already okay this has no um oh dear why did I put it Wonder how I'll handle the group going down the road. 
Aren't there supposed to be more guards over here in this sector? Nowhere dealt with them all already. Right, and they're coming up towards me. Well, hey, look, if I just go to here and strike at that. I'll pick it up. Come on. Come on, you lot. upgrade some of this equipment and also not get hit so much. Now a drink is definitely in order. So I'm looking to increase endurance, faith and um, arcane. But let's take a moment to look around. Yeah, make a few items, why not? So, fire pots, bone darts, um, fire grease. I can make fire grease? That's probably a very good idea. Make some raisins, because I can make loads. Ah, oh, the smouldering butterfly, I see. Let's make a load of bone darts as well. Make everything I can, because I can sell these things. Right. And... Ten. Wow. Five here is a thousand, so two thousand. Needing about two and a half more, then. Okay. Okay. Better scavenge a bit, man. What am I going to call this episode? Bad Swamp? Swamp Nightmares? It's a thing from the swamp. I don't want to call it, like, the dra Swamp Dragon, because then people will go, Oh, great, he's going to kill the Swamp Dragon in this episode. Yeah. Not exactly. <laughs> More like he's going to say, Yeah, that's... Oh, hello. Rider on foot. Rider. On foot, are you alone? You will be if you come all the way out here. You are not alone. But you could be. If you chose to... Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. See me? See the nice big target on my arm? Oh, it's going to hurt like hell, isn't it? Oh, Miscounted that. Pound them. Yep. Need to learn attack patterns. Oh. Yeah, that's just too much. Too much poise break, too much stamina loss. That is very unhealthy, but I can go pick it up again. What should I call this one? Just being shit at the game? I don't know. Um, right. I could fight my way back down for another thousand, or I could go, hey, let's just try pick this all up now before I lose it. Somehow I'm not feeling too confident at the moment. Obviously... I'm stepping into deeper waters. No health debuff anymore, though. So that's good, right? Allegedly. So. It's definitely worth trying to circle round and avoid their attacks. You know what? I'll have that as well. Just because I can. 
and the aim of the game is to get those runes back. Preferably without attracting the attention of the insane psycho nutter who never runs out of energy. Look, I'll just hide in the bushes here, and he'll ignore me because they apparently do that, and hiding is really easy in this game. It shouldn't be. Yeah, watch now as he goes like, no, fuck you, you haven't used the magic spell that makes you impossible to see, so yeah, I see you now hiding in the bushes there, being a wimp. And all this to try and avoid the wolf pack down the road. There's one of those black ball monsters. It's incredibly silly and not even in contact with the ground. Oh, 39? That's like half a soldier. Well, at least it's got some kind of light and shade and texture on it now. Whereas previously it just didn't look like anything in particular at all. There's a big golden glow over there. I mean, it should be careful. It might mean wolf pack attack. But it does look very tempting. Also, how would I get up there to fight that giant? Probably from this side, actually. So I shall explore. I think I'll start by heading towards this large edifice over here. It looks like it should correlate with the top of the tomb with the dog in it. The dog monster. You know, right down here. And also there's this thing over here. Which intrigues me. So I'm hoping there's no way into anything here and I'm just getting to... These look like dead bodies of large beasts. That's like a some kind of shell with tombstones? Or... No, no. It's like the top of sword blades with the hilt snapped off just above the quillens. And this... Is that a head here? I'm not sure. But definitely like the... Oh! Giant statue of a person as well. Some kind of golem or other animated thing. And there's a hand. This seems like a massive warning that I should not mess around here because one of these things might... For fuck's sake! So I'm going to back the fuck up, because that's going to hurt like that. But... Gotta keep moving inwards. Come on, mate. Pull him. What the hell? Right, well that's obviously a problem. Well, that hurt a lot. Did I get anything decent out of it? Oh, about a thousand. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Right. Don't want to do that again anytime soon. Which means you, mate. They're all now looking incredibly dangerous. As if there may be more of them ready to come out and attack me also. Let's see what I can find here. Uh, gesturing ahead. Yeah, look, you're pointing at it, mate. Oh, I see. No, I can't get across there. Let's try again. Let's uh, 
F is the dedicated jump key, isn't it? So let's F this gap up something rotten. Huh. Yeah. Just birds. Seriously. There are a lot of... Vi oh, hello. Not birds. That's a gesture. Is that it? Oh, some idiot probably jumped off here. Oh, that would be clever, wouldn't it? No, it won't. You'd just be an idiot and die. It's like Dark Souls players. They love jumping off things because they're stupid. And I suppose simple things please simple things, people. Simply falling. But I have discovered a nice big iron golem I can go and defeat for a large amount of runes. Hello! This looks more important. That I can't sit in it. Don't mind me, eagles. Starlight shards. I don't know what that is. Hmm. So let's take a look. used to gradually recover FP and we still don't know what the F stands for because nobody ever bothers to tell anyone. It's just a mystery. It's like, no, they don't care. It doesn't mean anything. It just means F. Well, F that. Right. 6 is 12, 33. Right, and I'm needing what? About 45? 46. Okay. So I'm needing about... 13, 1400 more runes. Which does mean I could get that. Right, let's first off look down here. Down. So, yes, this does seem to correlate to the dungeon entrance, but does not appear to be connected. Also, I should go back in there because there's something. Did I do that in the last episode in the back of the dungeon? I think I did. Right, well, I'll take those. And those. And pay attention to my surroundings. There could be another hidden foe, just like that one, but I'm having this. That knocks off 200 straight away. So, for all its sheer size and intimidating prowess, the golem was remarkably slow. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right, okay. And there's something circular here. It's dark on the map. Which probably means there'll be something to fight here, or some kind of danger. Most of so many ball, I don't see it, but look at that, look at that, look at that. It's one of those ball monsters standing up on end, shining its light into the sky for some reason. There may be a number of them. Okay, okay, okay. Mate, can I, like... Don't take this person, but you're an evil, horrible monster, and I'm not. Like I mean, you're also a light feature. Is that a new monster or a wolf? That does not appear to be attached at the bottom. Yeah. This looks like trouble. I've almost. I swear that tree looked like another dragon swooping in to ruin my day. Ever jail. That is not a good thing to want to go near. Well, at least these things are easy. I wonder if taking out 
all of these peripheral light shiners will do something to the jail. Because they're all kind of shining their light towards it. Definitely will. Right. Well. Oh, that was a nasty little, um, didn't need to repost there. Right, so. Oh, it's the gate towers from over there. And you, Mr. Giant. Okay, so I may be able to drop down from this side. But can I walk on from the other? Um. No. Uh, maybe. Where's all the swords sticking up that I saw from the bottom up there? It wasn't those, surely, because they were... That looks like a very restricted area to fight the giant in. And the chance of falling off... What? Died. There. No idea. Intrigues me, but I'm not going to go and find out. Just yet. Was it that wolf? There were two wolves here. Did it fall off and die? Right. So that is quite a drop. I'd probably take some damage. It looks like I can walk up the other side there and over that thin bit. Um. There's no swords. Where are all the swords? I should be able to get to that gatehouse though if I go along that edge. I know you probably all wanted me to go, ooh, Evergel, let's go in there and get locked in there forever. Um, I'm not quite going to try. It's still lit up. I see you. A sanctuary stone. Well, that should grant me some form of safety. Also, not getting a lot of uh, uh, smithing stones, which is unfortunate. Um, well, we know where this go There's a rider in there. You, mate, are, like, stuck up there on the wall. And I have a crossbow. Uh, it's Rider alert, and I am not ready to tap. Whatever is going on with those flames, that is bad. It looked like the rider had a giant flaming sword over his shoulder there for a moment. And I am not ready to tackle that. I am not rider ready, apparently. Are these things coming back? They appear to be coming back. probably killed itself now. That's what happens if they live long enough, apparently. Right. Oh, you what? Nope. It didn't die. It came back. It, it dropped down out of the sky for some reason. Okay, good to know. Right. This looks like something I should probably interact with. It also looks like something I probably should not. Try parrying. I did it. Okay, that's going to, like, 
release some kind of prisoner monster from hell that I should absolutely not deal with right now. I already had the nasty surprise from the uh, from the giant golem. But I'm exploring a new area. I'm learning. I could just go rest and fight that golem again. Uh, 26. 16. Ow! Bloody hell! What's your problem, mate? It's 42, isn't it? Right, you. Look, I don't want to do this. All I was doing was minding my own business, standing around. You came up and butted me with your horns! Right, you. Yeah, you're not going to do that stupid fake rolling thing that goats don't do. Because that's just wrong. Starting to look like a potion may be in order now. What? What's your problem? Flip an egg, pal. All I did was walk past. I don't think I was even anywhere near him. He was just like, you've been picking on my mates. No, they started it, mate. You leave it out. Deck you. You're going to be so dead. Right. I should probably try and tackle that giant at some point when I'm a little more versed in the fighting of giants. In fact, I should probably go do something stupid and irresponsible right about now. Come on, I'm right here, man. There we go. There we go. Now. I... I find a lot of these ruin fragments, so I should see what recipes they are used for. There we go. And try and make a load of those things. I see you. Are you going to come fight me? Are you going to come fight me? Because I'm going to... Whoa! That's a problem. That's a problem. I don't want the giant coming. Apparently I don't have anyone coming. Great! Let's get out of here. Because there's a giant down here that is um, easier to tackle on its own without pulling anything else. But then again, I think I handled the giant golem reasonably well at this point. Also, there's that annoying thing down on the beach with the massive long tentacles that looks dangerous. It also looks like it might be very slow. And that avoiding the frontal tentacles and attacking from the sides would be the best option. At this point, I think I'm just trying to grind out a level here by the end of the episode. And it looks like it might not quite happen. It would be nice, though. Oi, Mosh, you come and fight me or what? I'd open up the map to check I haven't gone through the wrong place, but if that giant comes walking around a corner, I am messed up. No, no, it should be here. Around here, anyway. Oh, yeah. Are you coming? Matt, you're slow today. Right. I don't like the hollowed out stomach. It makes them look very, very dead. Same for the sunken skull-like eye sockets. You have a sunken pits where their eyes should be. But also the woody look does give a unnatural end like appearance. Well, a very... Well, not unnatural then, but... Right. You are getting hit. Now, okay. Yeah, don't 
don't get grabbed. Oh, bugger. And circle, and circle, and... And out. Fucking hell. Yep, can't take too many... Fuck's sake! More of those. Because the cunt cheats and just keeps on hitting you because they never run out of stamina. What the fuck? Why did I gain about a thousand runes as I died? Well. Bugger damn fuck. Not happy. Going back to at least reclaim what I lost and then say, fuck this for an evening. The only thing that would make this even worse right about now would be getting invaded. By some wanker who cheats with fucking overpowered bullshit that they shouldn't use. Honestly, the fucking mentality of these cunts is ridiculous. At least it's an easy pickup. So what have we learned? Giants cheat by standing on top of a rock that means you can't... Right. Also, you do need to keep backing out of their reach. Is he gonna... Yeah, good. Right. Why do I do this? So, level ground is more important against giants than them having a great big pointy rock they can stand on in the middle of it. Hmm. I avoided a grab, so that's good, right? <laughs> At least did that. Oh dear, this is horrible. Stamp, stamp, stamp to death with no fucking chance of doing anything back! This cunting giant cheats! This is no fucking way around it. Where a bastard's gonna go, use your fucking horse! Fuck off! Fuck your horse! Fuck off! Design a better game that people can actually play instead of some shit like this. Evil fucking oh, we'll just keep hitting you for the same fucking attack. Fuck off. You can do better than that. Come on. I'm apparently not going to be fighting a giant tonight. It's not happening. What a fucking week. This is all I bloody need. On top of everything else. Right, well, better go pick this up before the giant comes and stamps on me 15 fucking times. Well, more like about four or five, that's probably about all I could take. Right, you bastard. I suppose I should go and get killed now by the gold knight just to prove that I'm no good at fighting him either or some shit. Fuck's sake. Maybe I'll just go deck the living shit out of some of the soldiers here as revenge therapy. But then that's just grinding, and grinding's wrong. Because if you have to include grinding as a core game mechanic, then there's something wrong with your game design, and you could do a better way of doing it, you know. I suppose there's a massive argument here that grinding is for players who find the game more challenging and want it to be a little bit easier, and the evil power game of wank stains who should be killed don't grind, because they're a bunch of shit. Right. Still no smithing stones, because they don't exist, apparently. I need to increase that arcane a bit. You know what? I'll do that. Wait. Weren't you... Well, you're back. Dead? Yes. The monsters are overpowered and ridiculous. It's your fucking giants in the back garden that keep killing me. Right. Let's be a little more sensible and reasonable here. Not that that's likely to help. I am looking for duplicates. 
so far. Sell that. Right. Um, actually, I need to. Oh, wait a minute. Right. Well, in that case, then, I could probably just sort a load of raisins. I think I will see if I can fit the pain of progress into this one as an episode title. That ought to do it. And besides, people like to see people getting annoyed by this shit, fuck, evil, cunt game of darkness and bullshit and fuck you, we're not going to let you play it. Just going to gatekeep it by the, behind the giant that fucking stamps all the time. Well, these stun locks to death. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, this level will be going into endurance to get a tiny little bit of stamina. And I know it won't make a massive difference initially. But it all builds up slowly over time. Because we need to be able to take those hits and still stay in the fight. I don't know what you're thinking. You know, Vigo will give health. Yeah, but the health isn't the problem so much as the getting stun locked and poise broken. Oh, fuck off. I heard the horns, it's hooves, it sounded a bit like a boar. Right, you, mate, are going to help me get my next level. So's your friend over here. You know what, at this point, I'm feeling like going through the ruins for feral reasons. Which means this might be a very long episode after all. Having that skull, problem solved ish, but hey, that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop here. Come face my blade, villain. Because while I'm definitely getting this level, I'm also what Yeah, watch as you just kill the stone dead with some new move I've never seen before. Like jumping up and down, stamping on me like a fucking cheat. Let's see. Morning? I could go do the runes. Um But well, that'd probably be better suited to the next episode, because I've probably gone on for quite long enough at this point. And I've ranted on long enough. For now, at least. Look, guys, it's nearly four in the morning, okay? And if you're still watching by this point, then I appreciate you sticking with me through the hard times. And that's sort of what this game is about. Except it's very sadistic and vindictive and likes to throw way too many hard times at you. Because it's a git. And not from Margate. Of course, Margit is the foe I should probably be going to face soon. But let's at least get this level. And it will give me 1.6 stamina, because that's what it does. Because 1.6 makes total sense as a number. Get me some good resistance increases, though. Maybe it's just this level. You know, maybe this level is a good one for resistances. There we go. But I do need to get that equipment load up as well. Yeah, 1.6 equipment load, the stamina is a bit, you yeah, know, it's more than that. Right, what am I wanting next? Uh, arcane, dexterity, vigor, and faith. I do need faith, actually. Faith and arcane over the next two I should be looking to increase. But for now, I think I've done quite enough for this episode. I'm going to go back into the middle in case anything nasty is lurking around the edges when I come back. And I'm going to leave this one here. Uh, I hope some of you have enjoyed this episode. And I'll look forward to seeing you on in the next one, painful though it may be. I'm going to say goodbye for now though, and cheerio everyone. See you all next time, where hopefully things will be a bit better for me. <laughs>